that's all of so. Last night, the winner was announced of the AppShed competition that's been running across schools in Hertfordshire. The idea was to inspire young people into believing they too could make their own programmes for smartphones. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the very first AppShed app building competition, the prize giving here uh, in Hertfordshire. Where, why, and when? And we're summing it up to make an app called the Five W's, and it's best friend how. If you don't know what to wear one day, and um, you just go to the app and randomise what you want to wear, and it chooses the best outfit for you, and according to the weather. We were going to a party, we and didn't we didn't know what to wear, so because we were doing the app thing, we decided to do that. An app is just a small little piece of software, and, and normally has a very, very focused task. The clever thing about this competition is that it utilised the services of a company called AppShed who helped to train the kids and help them with their designs and their, their structuring of their apps uh, because they have effectively put together a, a smorgasbord of the building blocks of different apps. So you come up with your idea, you can go to their uh, online web service and take off their virtual shelf the blocks you need to make your app work and that's precisely what they did. I think people like me use apps because it's a lot easier to access rather than the internet or using a PC because you can instantly get to the data that you need and they're often very simple and touch friendly. Just being creative over it, being planning it and just having the making it. Build it. Not many people have the chance to do that. Well, of course, the problem with current learning at school for children when they come to do look at technology is that it's all kind of based on what used to be the case as long ago as two years ago, which from a children's perspective and a technological perspective <laughs> is the guy. dark ages. <laughs> we watched it today and it in, inspired us when you were talking about it on the break and we thought, oh, why not make an app ourselves? I didn't realise there was anything like that out there because last time I saw anything about making an app was when my stepdad used to make websites and there was like, a lot of code involved. And I didn't really understand that, and then this is like a lot more simpler. So this is to inspire them about what they can learn now, what they can do right this minute, and to try and inspire them into thinking this isn't a career that's going to bore them to death, but it's something that's going to inspire them, bring out their creativity, and of course make them money. We're not preparing our young people in the right way. We need them to be teaching about the fun stuff of technology and not how to do Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint and other pieces of software. In ICT at the moment we're learning how to use Microsoft Word which is really app. boring. And it's really boring. We'd like to do it as a curriculum for app building. You should carry on with your ideas and keep building apps. Yeah.